I want to infiltrate a cell of boosters on NBA 2K19, and I want to catch him in the act. So a couple days ago, one of my friends hit me up in one of my group chats, sent me a link and said, Agent, you're gonna wanna see this. The link was to an account on Twitter named Park Boosting Services, which presumably throws games in exchange for money. Their pinned tweet says prices, 10 games, $5. 20 games is $10, 30 games is $20, and the list goes on. I don't know whether to be annoyed that something like this exists or to be proud that these guys are hustling. Cause what they're doing is they're losing games and getting paid to do it. Still, I feel like anybody who has to use these services to make their record look good is a pretty insecure guy. So I'm gonna hit these guys up, let's get it. Okay, so there's a problem. Obviously, I can't hop on my regular Twitter account. They're gonna know it's me and something's up. Why would Agent, such a prolific character in the NBA 2K community, be involved in park boosting? He doesn't need it. His record's not even bad. All right, so I just hit up my guy, Too Cool. He said I can use his Twitter account, and so we're gonna be doing this rogue operation through his account, that way not to draw any suspicion. Hey, I'm trying to get 10 games on Xbox. When can we get it done, and what type of payment. Okay, we just heard back. We take payments through PayPal. 10 games will be $10, if that's fine with you. Send half of payment before we start and the other half when we're done. Sure, what's your PayPal? Okay, uh, just realized another problem. I obviously can't pretend to be too cool and then when I'm doing the payment, it's gonna show the email on my PayPal, callmeagent00 at gmail.com. They're gonna know it's not adding up. Something's up, this is weird, let's bail. Cause what they're doing is against terms of service, so they have to be careful about who they say yes to their service about, you never know. Yo, Too Cool is a lifesaver. He said his phone is at 1%, but he just gave me the login to his PayPal account. So we're gonna log in through there, I'll send money from my PayPal to his PayPal, and then we'll pay these guys through Too Cool's PayPal account as to not draw any suspicion. These guys obviously haven't been to any sort of marketing class. Their pricing strategy is non-existent. Why would somebody pay $20 for the 30 game package when they can pay $5 for five 10 game packages and save $5? Somebody literally had to point it out to them in the replies and they deleted this tweet and then put up another pinned tweet with a revised pricing update. <laughs> this is hilarious. What a weird operation. What am I doing? This is Tuesday night. Agent is up just pretending to be somebody else so he can boost on 2K19. I do not know what is happening. So I think this is how it works. I bring a friend and I play verse them in duos and they throw the games. And depending on how many games you want thrown, there's different amounts. They even say in the tweet, anything above 100 will take multiple days to do, but we will accept whatever you ask for. <laughs> All right, so they just agreed to 2.30 p.m. Eastern time tomorrow. So there's a couple things I have to handle before that time. One, I need my Xbox. Ladies and gentlemen, I haven't played with this Xbox in literally a year. I don't even know where the power cord is, but I think it'll take a PS3 or a PS4 power cord. It looks like a generic two prong. There's also another problem. Once I hop on Xbox, I don't wanna have to waste two, three hours getting a new account and a new player. So I'm gonna hit up Fridge. I know he has an account on the Xbox and hopefully he lets me use his account. Two hours later. Update, everything is going perfectly, ladies and gentlemen. I'm about to hop on Fridge's account and download NBA 2K19 via his account. I think there's a system update that has to be done here. I'm gonna download his players as well, and then he's gonna hop on on his second Xbox account, and he'll be my duo. But I feel like I'm not doing enough. I'm gonna enlist the help of some fellow operatives to give those guys a little surprise. So I'm about to head to sleep in a second, but before I do, I wanted to take care of one more thing. So we're playing with these guys tomorrow, and I don't trust them and I don't know them. Once they find out I'm Agent Zero, I'm recording a video, whether they know who I am or not, what they know is that they're breaking TOS, and when they realize that they're gonna get booked, I don't know what their reaction's gonna be. You know the 2K community can get pretty toxic, so I kinda just wanna take some precautions. When I'm on PC and I'm in a dangerous situation, you just put on your VPN, you're straight. But on PS4, it's a little bit more complicated to set up a VPN. The first thing I have to do is scan my system. I'm not entirely sure what network card is on this computer, if it has one at all. So what I'm trying to do here is set up my computer wirelessly, and then I have to use a crossover cable, connect one to my PC that's connected wirelessly to my modem, and one to my PS4 to connect the VPN. It's usually pretty simple when you're PC gaming, but when you're console gaming, you need the crossover cable. And unless you have two Ethernet ports on your PC, you need to be connected wirelessly so you can save that Ethernet port as a crossover port. Okay, I might be confusing everybody. 
Long story short, I wanna set up a VPN so they can't track my IP and dox me. So update, I don't have any wireless card connected to this computer, which means I'm gonna have to purchase one and connect it to one of the PCI Express slots before we play tomorrow. And then I'm also gonna have to hope Amazon sends that crossover cable early so that I can get my VPN set up because last thing you want is a bunch of guys who dislike you to have your IP address. That's worst case scenario. <laughs> this should be fun. All right, man, it's time for some Netflix. Day two. So we hopped on, we were ready, and as expected, Park Boosting Services was not. They gave me a bunch of bogus replies, but at the end of the day, they delayed a recording for an extra 30 to 40 minutes. It was fine, me, Fridge, and Batch were kind of just kicking it on the park, and I literally could not have scripted it better. While we were waiting, on the 2v2 court were two teams boosting. Oof. Hold on, yeah, these guys might be boosting. Hold on, Twitch Raptor passes to Jake Tull and they're double teaming him, and they just passed. They're boosting in front of us, this is them! There were two big men, both Twitch streamers, and on the other end was two five foot seven brown shirts. In the video where I'm trying to infiltrate a cell of boosters, we just happened to see another group of people boosting. We decided to test our theory. We hopped on the Got Next after the game finished to see if they would play us. I mean, I'm a 60 overall with the brown shirt, and so was Fridge, so why not? Any reasonable person would play that game, it would be an easy W, but not them. They decided to hop off. That they hopped off. Look, oh! They're they boosting! They're boosting! Imagine being a Twitch oh streamer and boosting. <laughs> oh my gosh. Trying to catch boosters in the act, and I catch <laughs> on the. How do you. How does this. Them. <laughs> Let's get it, man. All right, you have someone with you, oh right? Yup, I do, I do. The moment of truth. Oh! I hate when my chair does that shit. Okay, cool, join me and invite your friend. Oh, play NBA 2K19, he sent me the invite. Okay. Services 1423. I'ma I'm check out their player card. They have a 5'7", rebounding defender, 60 overall, no badges, zero win percentage, but they have 72 games played, which means they threw 72 games for their clients. Where'd they at? We got them right where we want them. Okay, is that yeah, them here, the done. brown shirt? That's him. Yes. Yes. Hey, he looks just like you, Fridge. <laughs> we look like brothers, man. We all look like each other. What's up? All right, I gotta keep my poker face, man. I'm undercover. So I sent him a message, asked if he's ready, and then he began moving. So I assume his friend is nearby. Larry Longdick. <laughs> hey, people are weird, yo. Oh my God. <laughs> so after about six delays, we finally got in a game with these guys. For the first game, I told Fridge we're not hopping in game chat, so it was gonna be just me and him. We have 10 games to do this, right? So I don't wanna rush everything in the first game and try and get a crazy reaction or just poke and prod a little bit too much. They're gonna know. Also, I can't really sound like myself, so I have to sound a little different. It's just me with a kind of deeper voice. <laughs> Zero. I guess one of them he lagged out. <laughs> okay, let's see how they play this. <laughs> this is wild, yo. And he's gonna go out of bounds. Just drop buckets. I'm gonna give you all 20 points. Uh, all 21 points. <laughs> I think you're enjoying this too much, Fridge. You should be like quick two, three minutes. Fridge. Fridge. Dude, how do you miss a layup, man? They must think we're trash. <laughs> there you go, Fridge. Buckets. Yeah. Yo, let me do some dribble moves on the asses. Okay, go ahead, Fridge. Sauce, my guy. I so, I so. My guy, Fridge, has the ball. Spin move, baby. Buckets. So after a couple games, they send us a party invite, and now things are getting serious. At this point, I have to talk, and I have to communicate with them, and it's gonna be my time to try and open myself up. I wanna see what they're all about. And that's exactly what we did. Thanks, guys. I really appreciate you guys doing this for us, because, I mean, it's kind of tough as a 60 overall. Usually, people don't even want to play with you, so it's tough to find games. It usually takes really long. you good, bro. Yep, beautiful. Here we go. Let's get it. I think we're getting better, man. After like one more week, I think we can start to play like real people. Here we go, crossover. 
Yeah. Yo, let's pull out the W. Let's get it, only. Inside, I see you. Good try. Oh, no. <laughs> Don't worry about it. Takeover, go crazy. Good shot. There we go. Good game, flawless. A few moments later. I got this game for the first time in like four years. People don't play with you though, unless you have a crazy account with a lot of wins. And then somebody sent me uh, your services. This is not a troll, I do suck at the game. Did you do work and shit? Like, you know? Uh, I'm, yeah, I'm 21. I just finished college, but I moved back in with my parents. Now throwing games for money is kind of like a, that's a light hustle, right? You're not making too much money. I knew they had to have been doing something on the side and what he said next verified that for me. Because I have an account that's for sale right now that has a 91 win percentage and all the same badges as a center. And I won Mountain Dew last year with it. Oh, uh, how much does it go for? So I was selling it for 450, but I would go down just because you're pretty cool, you know what I mean? Like, I would go like 400 or so. What's what's Mountain Dew? It was an 18, like 2K18. Like my player had an unlimited boost in 18. Like, are you trying to upsell me right now? He is trying to sell me an account, yo. This is an upsell of all upsells. I was flabbergasted, ladies and gentlemen. He was trying to take advantage of my lack of information when it came to NBA 2K by selling me something. And not something that cost $5, this cost hundreds of dollars. And then not only that, he used a sales technique during his pitch called anchoring, where he says like, this is the usual price, but for you, we'll do it this price. And when you anchor the price at the top and then show your willingness to go lower, it's one of these sales techniques. Yo, this guy is not playing games, man. He's really trying to take all I got. That's crazy, bro. I mean, it's not crazy, kind of, but it's crazy, you know? <laughs> And you know who Badge Plug is? Badge Plug? No, I don't know who that is. It's Why? actually in here. Yes. It's just in here. He, he has a uh, 170k subscribers on YouTube. He had me added. Like I ran with them all last year. Whoa! <laughs> Are you? You got to be kidding! He's trying to sell me on an account over the slight possibility that just because Badge Plug is on my friends list, I'll get a chance to play with him. What he doesn't know is. In the other call, I have Badge Plug waiting to join me. I literally could not have planned this any better. It's time for the substitution, ladies and gentlemen. I DM my guy Fridge, told him, yo, hop out, tell him you have to go, and then I'll tell them that I have to find somebody new to add, and I got somebody, and that somebody will be Badge Plug. So what's the video you're doing? Uh, it's basically gonna be like helping a brown shirt win games, you know, like take a bad record and put it into a good record. Nice, and I'm, I'm that Brown shirt? You are the lucky winner. <laughs> wow, look at that record. And I'm finally 500, man. Things are looking up. Okay, okay. Big greens. Good pass. How do you pass like that? Larry was telling me earlier that uh, my build can't shoot until he gets a badge. Really? Yeah, so I have to... You know how to get badges yet? or? No, but he said he can sell me an account, so I might just get the account. I don't have to get the badge or anything. Your fault. Bag is like your fault. Oh. Oh man, I'm trash. Oh! Badge, I'm looking like the elite player in this game, man. <laughs> so Badge is in the game and they refuse to talk. They muted their mics. They went from getting to know me, asking questions, trying to upsell me on an account, to nada. You cannot hear a thing from these guys. And obviously when such a popular YouTuber hops in with a brown shirt, even with our fake cover story of he was trying to record a helping brown shirts video, you're gonna take notice and it's gonna be a little suspicious. How do you get the yeah, badge? Larry, the badge. I know you mentioned earlier. How do I get like the shooting badge? So help my player shoot better. Larry, what was that badge you mentioned earlier? I think his mic might be mute. I think it's on mute. Yeah. I haven't heard him talk. Oh, you see you? That's that IQ coming in. That's that IQ right there. 18 points. Last game, 22. This game, 18. I got my first badge. Helping brown charts get a, a positive record and badges? Yes, in the same game. Let's get it. S! S! Eight! <laughs> S is eight! Yo, yo, badge. When I, when I get that new account off of Larry, make sure, bro, you play some games with me, bro.
Because uh, you're going to be on that friends list, you know? I got you, bro. Thank you, dude. Thank you. I, really I got you. That. Good looking out, man. You're, you're a real humble you. guy. And thank you for allowing me in your brown shirt video. I really appreciate it. This video felt really, really weird. For the first time in years, I was playing 2K as a regular person, not a YouTuber. And in the process, I was talking with other people about big YouTubers as if I was just a regular guy who played 2K. It was honestly kind of like humbling. They were in the call and they were like, yeah, you could even play with Badge Plug if you buy this account. And in my mind, I'm thinking like, I can play with Badge Plug whenever I want. I could just DM him and talk about it. But it's, it's crazy that for regular people like those, I never, I haven't had conversations like that in years. So that's, I don't know, it was a weird video. I was so close to getting something out of that Larry guy, but eventually things fell through. A lot like the time when I pranked Hank the Tank a couple years ago, sometimes when people know that they're being pranked or trolled, they just go quiet. They don't even wanna get a reaction out, no nothing. But in this situation, I think he was just trying to save his ass. Yo, guys, if you haven't yet, Please drop a like on the video, hit that subscribe button, click on those two videos, man. One of them you're gonna wanna watch, man. So, alright, so, alright, I'm, Agent's looking at you right now. He's looking at you. Click on one of the videos. Just, just click it. Okay.